I think first uh, first lesson we learned in preseason is that we have uh, the tools and the, and the potential to be a, a pretty good team, um, and that we have a lot of options this year as to how we get there. Um, I think one thing that kind of took us all by a pleasant surprise was um, we have a pretty deep uh, deep lineup, and I think there's a lot of players that can contribute in, in our system this year. And it, you know, it took a little bit longer than we thought to get a, a starting rotation put together in preseason compared to you know past years. But we look at it as a good thing, and we think we have uh, the right lineup now. And I think we've learned a lot about ourselves. A couple notables, I think, uh, one was Courtney Kirkey, a sophomore right side hitter, left-handed from uh, downstate and near Ann Arbor. Um, she got very little playing time last year, more for a back row role or a substitution in the front row a few times. Was very freshman raw last season. Had a, a phenomenal spring and summer and really came through and she's been offensively fantastic for us this, so far this preseason. Uh, I think another one was uh, Mario Leibowitz, uh, redshirt freshman setter. Um, definitely got, uh, you know, had great improvement in the spring and off season and the summer worked really hard. She's going to be a, a great addition to our setter core with, of course, Rachel. And then, um, you know, I think Macaulay Peterson, one of our freshmen, came in with, uh, you know, a, a lot, very dynamic and it will be a big part of our, uh, our system here right away. I think it's really about remembering that they know what to do. You know, I think um, it's been for four seasons now, everyone seems to be a little bit inexperienced as they go along in their roles. I think for the first time, or maybe not the first time, but for uh, for this year, we have a, a, a collection of players, I think, that know what to do and how to do it and that what they need to do. Um, focus on their job. I'll give you an example. Uh, Lauren Emmer, junior, middle, captain, has been uh, a pr production leader for us her first two seasons. She's as consistent as they, they come. She's going to do her job, get in there, come out in the back row, come back in, get her job done, come out, nothing. We don't need anything more. Aubrey Fisick, another good example. Since her freshman year, she's been a grinder for us, undersized outside hitter, but is incredibly aggressive, very strong. She's had to carry a burden on the offensive uh, end of things and on the outside for us that she doesn't need to carry this year. She just needs to go in and take do her job. And I think it's things like that is uh, probably the best answer to that question. Doug is in his now fourth season, which is fantastic. We have uh, Jack Eard as a student assistant. Uh, the newest addition um, is Cindy Bathold. Uh, she's been a great addition to our staff. This is a gal who is uh, living here locally in, in Painesdale, uh, is married to uh, a gentleman from Painsdale, who went to Jeffers, is now enrolled um, here at Tech uh, after serving in the, in the armed forces. But this is a gal who played um, her freshman year on the University of Florida's Sweet 16 team. She was a starting setter alongside with uh, Olympian Kelly Murphy that year. They went to the Sweet 16, and she was taught or coached then by uh, one of the best coaches that, that there is with Florida, Mary Wise. And then she transferred back closer to home to play for uh, Coach Barnett, who is a Chicagoan but an Olympian at Colorado Springs. So she brings incredible experience, a little bit of pro ball overseas. Uh, and she contacted us having just moved into the area of Painsdale and asked if she uh, had any, uh, if there's any space for her to help out and uh, yeah, yeah. So she's been working with our setters and she's just a great addition to this, this squad. We, I, I've learned a lot from her already for sure. To compete, compete at a level that we are proud of. Um, every point, not take a point off and focus more on method than outcome but recognize that outcome is directly related to method. I think um, the one thing we can't do is get too caught up in what's next ahead of us either. Um, we have a very grueling schedule by design, but what we also have to remember and know is that many of the teams that we're going to compete against this early on, this weekend, uh, Lewis for example, we were point for point with uh, in the seasons past, like last year with Lewis. Um, so I, I don't know. I think we, we expect to win. We expect to win when we play every game. Um, but we have to go in and be disciplined and, and be the aggressor. We can't wait around for anything to come to us this weekend. And if we learn that lesson now, I think it will help us uh, as we get uh, into the season.